artists are not uh, normal people, if I say between. Once you live through something so artistic, of, of course it's, it goes into your, your, uh, your being, you know? So when you meet so many different choreographers and teachers, you have to open yourself. You cannot just follow your own, like, your own, no, I want to do it like this, you know? You have to let go of this ego thing that we have as a dancer, like, this is the way to do. No, you know, there is so many different ways. And this is what I really learned here, because I think my dance world was quite small, you know? Until you enter into such a big university like this, you don't, you don't really understand how, how things can be so different from, from one another. You know, it's, it's something, you, you have a dream since also I started dancing, I was four, so it's a dream forever, you know, like all my life I wanted to dance in a professional company. I, I came here and then there was this uh, opportunity which I had, which is very important because that's actually very difficult to have. When we come here, we have uh, auditions for companies, for stagiaires, and we exclusively have it for Kodat, for example. So uh, I did many auditions here, of course, and it was also one of the reasons I came here, because I knew that there was such a big connection with the dance world and we had the opportunity to do auditions for real professional companies. Mm -hmm. I was taken uh, by Scapino as a stagiaire and it was weird, actually, because it was smooth, but it was weird because I arrived there and once I got the contract, it was like all my dreams were there. And then I was like, oh, and what do I do now? <laughs> you know, then I start to ask different questions to myself. You know, when you are a student, you just want to dance, you just want to be in a company, you just want to do that. And then once you enter in a company, it's like, oh, but I'm here now. And it's like, Ooh, it's a release. And then there's another contraction, not a contraction, but there is another challenge that you give yourself because this is the only way, I mean, this is the only way you improve yourself, no? It feels like a passion, but after a while it feels also like a work, you know? I used to say like, yeah, you know, it's, it's not a work, but actually, yeah, it is a work because it takes all your time and all your attention, you know? For me, it's very hard to... Sometimes people ask me, but uh, if you cannot dance, uh, what do you do? Like, do you have another passion? No, you know, like, I mean, this is all I do, you know? Like, I'm so involved, it's something you, you cannot, you cannot go half into it, you know, you have to go like, to 2,000%. Dance is within me, you know, I think about what I did today in dance, and I think of what I'm gonna do tomorrow, and I think of what I want, and I think how I can improve myself, it's always there, so. I think I will always live through dance anyway, you know, like, even if I, if I have an injury, if something, it will continue, you know, like uh, if I want to stop dancing, I will not want to stop dancing. I will want to teach, I will want to be a repetitor. Will, you know, there's so many different things which you can do afterwards, but I have time for that. I'm only 25, so I have time to think about it. <laughs>